Here we are today again trying to prevent another catastrophe in our region. We are holding this uh, important international conference at a time of heightening tension, discussion about war and limited military strikes, and to be able to mobilize the public opinion against another catastrophe, we need to be clear about the real issues, about what are the current underlying facts, about the policies that are now being trying to be sold to the people, especially by imperialism and the Bush administration. So firstly, let me say and make it clear that the reasons behind the current tension, behind the new talks of war, in our view, has little to do with the Iranian regime's policy on nuclear, nuclear energy and more to do with the long-term strategic goals and plans of imperialism in the region, particularly the Persian Gulf and its oil and gas resources and their flow, free flow to the West. If imperialism, and particularly the Bush administration and US imperialism, are concerned about the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction in our region, then there are other countries that need to be looked at closely. And to achieve a nuclear-free Middle East, which us and all the progressive forces in our region are fighting for, it's not Iran that needs to give up its nuclear policy. It's other countries in the region who do possess nuclear weapons, and they are the allies of US imperialism. Comrades, friends, over the last um, two years, we've had this debate, and there are various ups and downs in his debates about the nucle Iran's nuclear policy. Our party has made it clear, and let me reinstate this position again, that for any country, including Iran, to pursue a peaceful nuclear policy for nuclear energy, they do not require the permission of America or any other Western country. It's their alienable rights. So clearly the way forward is not by talking of limited or unlimited strikes. It's not by intimidation or threats. It's by negotiation through international means and coming together and for a peaceful solution of our problems. So it's also important, as far as Iranian peoples are concerned, we have deep scars about war and aggression. Over the last two decades, a, a war was imposed upon our people, instigated by US imperialism for eight years, which cost millions of lives and hundreds of millions of economic damages just to crush and stop the young revolutionary movement which was developing in our country. So it's quite important to also say that the core of the problems we are witnessing in Middle East is also related to the policies actively supported by US and its allies, is the continuous occupation of Arab lands and the continuous savage suppression of the Palestinian peoples and their rights for an independent state. <laughs> Friends, it's also important for the peace movement, I think, to understand and realize the complex situation and the struggle of the peace and freedom-loving people of Iran that is constantly happening. It's important to understand that. Over the last two years, we have witnessed the intensification of suppression of human and democratic rights in Iran. This has manifested itself in attacks against independent trade unions, against women's rights activists, against students 
and attack on universities and also on independent writers and newspapers. Despite the anti-American rhetoric that comes out of the Iranian government and its leaders, all the major socio-economic policies that are being pursued by the Iranian government are nothing but right-wing reactionary policies directed by the World Bank and the IMF. It is also no secret that the Iranian regime is using the current tension to clamp down on its opposition. And that is for the forthcoming parliamentary elections that we'll be holding in, in February. And we've also said that adventurist policies and rhetoric, sometimes echoed and pursued by the Iranian government, it is only helping imperialism and Bush administration. Having stated these facts, friends and comrades, our party strongly believes that the struggle of the Iranian people against tyranny for freedom, peace, and democracy is the duty of the Iranian people and only the Iranian people alone. We therefore strongly condemn and are against any external interference in our internal affairs. Our contemporary history is full of examples of imperialist intervention. You only need to go back to 1953 and the CIA MI6 coup d'etat against the nationalist government of Dr. Mossadegh, which ended up with thousands of progressives, including a large number of our party members, being either executed or put to prison so that they stopped the nationalization of oil industries and the people's movement for democracy and social justice to realize and to understand what imperialist intervention means and what imperialist so-called democracy means in our region. <laughs> Finally, friends and comrades, and I'm aware of the shortness of time we have, there has been significant developments over the past few weeks in our country, and it's important for you to know. There has been a lot of effort, a lot of movements in building and developing quite a wide-ranging peace movement in our country. This is a positive step forward. During the last few weeks, there was a call by human rights activists that, and a lot of other nationalist and prominent social and political figures to build a national peace council in Iran. Our party welcomes this initiative and he thinks it's the right step in the direction of uniting the forces against the war despite our differences, despite our political and differences of views. Friends, it's also important to realize that we need to develop strong links and bonds between the peace movement that is developing in Iran and the Stop the War Coalition here and other, in other countries. Together, we have the power, we have the authority, and we have the world public opinion behind us to stop our region sliding into another catastrophe, to stop our region sliding into another imperialist Bush instigated war. So in this campaign, comrades, in this campaign, friends, we are together and we have an important international duty to carry out together. So long live peace and long live international solidarity. <laughs>